analysis. How you doing guys and welcome to another episode of Finalysis. On Saturday the 18th of May, showing live on DAZN and TNT, we'll have Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk. And this is the first undisputed heavyweight championship in 25 years. Before we get into comparisons, predictions, strengths, weaknesses, let's look at the tail of the tape. Fury is age 35, Usyk is age 36. Fights 34 for Fury, 21 for Usyk. 33 wins for Fury, 20 for Usyk. They're both undefeated. Fury's had one draw, Usyk's had none. Fury has 24 knockouts, Usyk has 14. Fury 6-9, 6-3 for Usyk. 85 inch reach for Fury and a 78 inch reach. Fury's orthodox and Usyk is southpaw. 28th of November 2015 in Dusseldorf, Tyson Fury beat Vladimir Kitschko in a 12 round decision to become a unified champion within all the belts apart from the WBC. I think at the time Severn had that belt, which was vacated by Vladimir's brother. And then Fury fought Wilder in 2021 after Wilder beat Severn for that belt. And that's when Tyson Fury became WBC champion. Now, Lucy, he became unified champion 26th of September 2021, beating Joshua, Anthony Joshua. Um, he fought Joshua twice, and twice he beat Anthony Joshua. Let's have a look at their last four opponents today. So Tyson Fury fought Francis Ngana, that was his last fight, and that was the 28th of October 2023. Before that it was Derek Chisora, and that was the 3rd of December in 2022. And before that he fought Dylan White, 23rd of April 2022, and Deontay Wilder, the 9th of October 2021. Now we've all heard the saying, you're only as good as your last fight. And in Tyson Fury's last fight, he fought Francis Ngano. Tyson Fury won on points. 12 round split decision. Ngano, ex UFC champion and novice boxer. And in that fight, Tyson Fury was knocked down once by Ngano. And then I think after that, he, instead of coming at Ngano, he tried to box more and keep out of the way of Ngano's power and punches because he couldn't wrestle Ngano in the clinches. Now, a lot of people say that Tyson Fury wasn't up for that fight um, and he didn't take it seriously. Then there's others that say that Tyson Fury is on the decline um, his legs have gone, he's getting older. Tyson Fury on the night, he said that Francis Ngarno was good, he was strong, and he, he trained for that fight, and he was ready for that fight. So if we believe what Tyson Fury said, that means it was a poor performance, really, for a heavyweight champion, one of the greatest of this era to be going the distance with a novice fighter and winning on a split decision. But I leave that for you guys to decide whichever where you think, whether he was on the decline, he didn't take the fight seriously, or Tyson Fury, like I said, is on the decline and just lost it. Well, we have to wait and see. Now, if we come to Usyk and look at his last four fights. His last fight was against Daniel Dubai and that was on the 26th of August, 2023. Before that, he fought Anthony Joshua on 20th of August, 2022. Now, on the 25th 
of September 2021, he fought Andy Joshua, and that's when he became champion, unified champion. And he fought Derek Chisora on the 31st of October 2020. Now, Usyk, in his last fight, he fought Daniel Dubai. Now, he got hit what was split professionals, pundits, experts, people were divided as to whether it was a low blow or if it was a legal shot to the midsection. No matter what people think, the ref deemed it a low blow. He had five minutes. Now, that is a weak spot for Usyk because in the AJ fight and in other previous fights, he has winced or looked at the ref for support when he has been hit low. So that is Usyk's weak spot. Now, as to how this fight will play off, it's, it's not a foregone conclusion, really. Um, for example, you've got Fury. Now, he's classed as the greatest fighter of this era. And the best opponent he had is Glad Glad um, Vladimir Klitschko, who we beat in a 12 round unanimous decision. Now, he didn't take the rematch. Obviously, he went, he had mental health issues. Um, he was on drug and alcohol abuse and was at the ring till he came back with Wilder. And then Wilder was a WBC champion at the time. And he had three fights with Wilder. The first one, he fought his normal herky-jerky style. Um, he did get knocked out but recovered and then in the second fight he beat Wilder easy actually demolished him it's like beat him up and the same again in the third fight but the thing is Wilder I've seen him fight other people and he's always been out box but normally he has that right hand so that is what propelled Fury in this day and age, especially with the Americans, to just put him into like the world's greatest. Now, Usyk, unified champion in the cruiserweights, and as an amateur, he's had 300 and I think it may be about 56 fights, and he did fight. In the Super 6 series, he fought Joe Joyce. And he beat Joe Joyce easy, huh? You know, so he has he, he actually did oh no, that was the amateur, sorry. And he beat Joe Joyce easy. Um so then when he came into the heavyweights, at first he didn't look too good. Was it Chaz Witherspoon? Derek Chisora was putting a lot of pressure on him. Then he beat Anthony Joshua convincingly, and he beat Daniel Dubai. Daniel Dubai caught him that low, low blow, as we all know. Um, but then Daniel couldn't carry on. He was um, give up, and Usyk took over, and he won that fight. So who's going to win between Usyk and Fury? Now. Fury has been knocked down by small guys. Cunningham, he has struggled with McDermott. Um, is it Neville Pike, is it? He's, he's, he's had some hard fights with smaller guys. Now, Usyk, although he's a smaller guy, he's 6'3", still quite big. He's very skillful and when he hits, 
He, so he punches with the right and pivots to the right. And as you turn, he'll then catch you with the left. So he uses, he uses angles a lot. And then he's very good off that backhand. Um, off that backhand. And he's in that southpaw stance. Now Fury, since he's been with the Kronk and Sugar, what's his name? Sugar, Sugar, Sugar. I can't remember, but since he's been with the Kronk gym, that and his fighting fury, that's when we've seen the more forceful style. But it's not exactly knockout power, it was more bullying tactics and rough housing. So, but when we saw him fight against Angano, that was a completely different fight, and that was his last fight. So for this undisputed fight, I'm gonna go with Usyk. I think Usyk can do this job. I think Usyk can knock him down, and where others knocked him down and let him recover, I have a feeling Usyk knocks him down, and if others can do it, he can do it. And if he does that, I don't think he'll let him off the hook. Failing that, Usyk on points. I think Tyson will try and go for the body, but I think Usyk will be aware of that, and I think he will be targeting the cut. He says he's just going to fight, but I think he'll target the cut. Well, there's my prediction, guys for May the 18th Undisputed Heavyweight Championships in Saudi Arabia. Peace. I'm out of here. Hey guys, do me a favor. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.